And welcome to Political Quickie, your political show that subjectively discusses current affairs in South Africa and all around the world. My name is Map Asigamura. Now, while Donald Trump is allegedly busy telling uh, the Spaniards that they should build a wall in the Sahara Desert to keep African migrants out of Europe. <laughs> that is actually a real thing. Uh, President Matabela Cyril Ramaphosa has unveiled his economic stimulus uh, and recovery plan. He blamed you know, our recent economic predicament on global factors like you know, rising oil prices and declining trade relations uh, between the U.S. and everybody else. Uh, but according to the president, the government has been working really, really hard to fix uh, the mess-ups of the ANC that they created in government. Yeah. The measures that the government will take will focus on women, small businesses, as well as the youth because give the people what they want. Yeah. So the government will also revise the requirements of visas in South Africa to allow for more tourism as well as, you know, highly skilled individuals into the country. Um, according to the president, the revised version of the mining charter will allow for transformation as well as investor confidence. The government will also work on lowering data costs by initiating the process of allocating high demand radio spectrum. I know that sounds very sciencey and very technological, but it actually means that government will actually increase uh, the range of radio frequency uh, to allow for these network providers to allow us easier access and for them to make more money. According to the president, the government will also reprioritize spending, uh, focusing more on agriculture and township businesses uh, as well as focusing on health and education an infrastructure fund will also be established um, with 400 billion rands yeah that actually reminded me of the 1.6 billion rand uh, bridge that is in the works uh, while UJ students on NSFAS are struggling to get their meal allowances yeah <laughs> uh, you know what the NC is really good, you know, in terms of policy making. Their problem, however, is implementation uh, because they are corrupt. You know, they've got a corruption problem. It's, I, I'm starting to think it's more of a corruption addiction. That is what stops them from actually doing their job. So um, there isn't, you know, really anything new in this plan. Um, but you know what? I'm not going to lie. I am excited. I am excited about lower data costs because then more people can watch political cookie. That is exciting. So in this instance, Kenna Thomas Kamakola Karobana loosely translated to um I will believe it when I see it. So yeah, let's see if you know the president and his government can actually uh, stimulate the economy and help it recover. We shall see. <laughs> I love you guys. You're the talents to serve humanity, and I will see you next week. Goodbye.